On this day in history, in 1095 at Clermont, Pope Urban II issued a call to the First Crusade, uh, calling on people of all rank, rich or poor, high-born, low-born, to carry aid promptly to uh, those friends uh, in the East, i.e. Uh, the Christians of the Eastern Roman Empire, and to destroy that vile race, i.e. Muslims. Now, the causes of the First Crusade are far more complicated than I can do in even a very long TikTok, and I'm only here noting the anniversary of the call to it. But there's a lot that goes into it. There are power struggles between secular and spiritual authorities in Europe. There's um, a history of, of tensions because of one particularly bad ruler in the Fatimid uh, Caliphate that had destroyed churches. There's a whole bunch of things that kind of like pile on solely to do this. But the biggest thing I want to point to here is a, a basic misunderstanding about the nature of the Crusades and some of their both immediate and long-term consequences in terms of relations uh, among people, among the Abrahamic faiths. So, first off, in terms of some immediate consequences, it took a while to put together formal armies to march um, toward the Holy Land, you know, and respond to um, the East Roman Empire's call for help against the Seljuk Turks and whatever. But initially, a whole bunch of ordinary people got together um, following a, a, a charismatic local demagogue and marched on down, da, 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 that they can do it, and they figured their faith would be enough to protect them, despite no equipment and formal military training, and that really wasn't true. They were all enslaved and killed. But along the way, they slaughtered Jews all over the Rhine Valley in Germany. And this gets to one of the key aspects of the crusade. People sometimes think that it's about pushing a particular correct religious vision, uh, maybe converting people to your particular approach, but it never was. It was, um, in part, a bloody fight for territory, in part, a way for people to clear out some of their sins and help themselves out. And, and, you know, there's a number of other reasons here, but, you know, in part, it's also, it reflects a kind of brutal um, zero-sum approach to difference, where if you are Muslim or Jewish, you are just straight up a heretic and deserve to die. And not just that, other Christians did. The Crusaders actually killed a lot of Christians, but they were all the wrong type of Christians. And this gets to one of the both nastier aspects about this kind of fighting, the way that you can play on some of our evolved tribal instincts in order to divide people up against each other when the interests of power come into play. Uh, this is particularly prob problematic with um, states and large religions where you can pit people against each other by just feeding them weird stories about them, and atrocities ensue. But it's because of that, because of that violence, it really damages relations among the Abrahamic faiths, which do have a lot more in common than not. But because of those small differences, Christians have tended to lash out violently towards, towards Jews, towards Muslims, and again, towards other types of Christians. And in the long run, this really damages relations between the faiths in the Middle East itself, because Islam didn't spread into very much of peninsular Europe, but Christianity was still thriving in large parts of the Middle East in this period. Places like Egypt were majority Christian for centuries into the Muslim period. The, the changes in the balance and dem demographically took a long time. But with Catholics lashing out in the way that they did, it eventually created a climate of serious distrust that has been hard to fully um, overcome, especially since a lot of the European powers held to the crusading notion for many, many centuries after it was quite obvious that they weren't going to get anywhere. I mean, really, only the first crusade was successful. And I don't mean like the first one with like the, the People's Crusade or whatever. I mean, the first official one. Depending on how you count them, there's eight or nine official ones, and then a ton of other ones. You know, People's Crusade, Children's Crusade, Northern Crusade, Albigensian Crusade. There's a whole bunch of these, but you know, whatever. Only the first official crusade 
accomplished its goals in the Middle East. Uh, and after that, it just got worse and worse and worse. And there's just tons of atrocities along the way. And I just, I, I can't help feeling that so much of this is ultimately pointless. Why do people need to go after each other in violent ways over differences in belief systems? If you're really secure in your belief systems, let God sort it out. It's not your business. But the real issue here is power interests and tribalism, not the religion itself. Religion is frequently used as window dressing in conflicts like this. But the problem of using a religious guise for these kind of conflicts is it ultimately undermines the religion itself and its claims to morality. Frequently, um, organized religions have engaged in some of the most immoral acts, and doing so, to my mind, completely undermines the argument that religion itself brings morality. The problem here is that religion plus power equals terror of various sorts, and that tends to undermine the claim for me. It really makes it very problematic. And honestly, people's faiths, they really should be a source of, of strength, of joy, of ways to reach out to people, of, of brotherhood, you know, ways to, to share and care for other people. It shouldn't be a way to divide people up and take them out. So there's my little rant there on the anniversary of the calling of the First Crusade. Uh, if anyone's ever interested in you know, some of the factors that led up to it or how any of them played out, things like that. I mean, obviously I can keep doing history type themed ones over time, but this was more just an opportunity to talk about the consequences of this kind of call to violence uh, in a religious guise, which I just, I, I think is such a terrible perversion of what it means to be both religious and human. So anyway, have a great day, y'all.